Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Hanukkah, all the celebrations. Today I'm going to show you a quick, easy uh, diamond fold. I made oh, hundreds of these last year because it was our diamond jubilee, our diamond anniversary for Toastmasters district that I was in, it, which was also near Christmas. So I made them for Christmas gifts with uh, a little... I put candy inside. This size here comes from a piece of paper that is about six inch square. That you can get this pet scrap of paper 12 inch square. And I've actually started folding this one for you, but I'm gonna go through the folds. It's totally easy. But uh, this one, which fits in my hand, is one fourth of this. So you get four out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full one. It just takes a square, your whatever size you want. Take your scrap of paper. First thing is you're going to fold in half this way and this way. The rectangles. And the thing with the rectangle fold, I want you to fold both sides and I want you to make sure you really make that crease. So it's going to go both ways because that fold actually does go both ways. Next, you're going to do the triangle fold, and this is just pretty side up. And make sure it's a good crease. Go back and forth on it so that you have your X. So triangle fold both sides. After you have your triangle fold, you're going to do what I call an airplane fold. I'm not sure what they call it. I call it an airplane fold because it looks kind of, to me, like a paper airplane. But you're going to do this on all four corners. Now I have already folded these but when you do it make sure you make that crease with your fingernail. Make it really good. It has to be a really good crease and each each of the corners have to be done. Okay? Once you have each of those corners done the next part is fairly easy. You want to make sure can you see how the centers kind of come in? Now, you may have, this may pop up and you want it to pop out. So you just use your finger to pop it out. And you'll see where the pops go. And that's probably the most complicated thing is that when you're trying to pop those out. And you want to be really gentle when you do this so that it pops right. Keep playing with it. This is the most difficult. There you go. So, <clears throat> and then I just kind of, once that's all done, you're really done. You can fill this with candy and give as a gift. Lots of candy. You can put, you leave it as it is and use it as a table decoration. I'm going to, I'm going to close this with some hot glue. You could just use tape. What I do is, if you're going to use it as a gift box, what I do is do hot glue on two of the opposite sides. Here's why. Because you can pull this open and fill it with candy or and toys and trinkets, and then you can tape it closed. Let me show you here. Let's just go ahead and fill this with some stuff. Put a whole bunch of candy in here. And then pop it down. I might have to play with the, uh, the ends again. And then just use some tape to close it. Just like that. Isn't that cool? If you want to hang them, make it smaller, make ornaments. Merry Christmas! Make some Christmas diamonds for your ornaments for your tree. Merry Christmas.